Hi guys, how's it going? Uh, I hope everything okay. And uh, today I'm gonna talk to you about something new. Uh, it's well, actually, it's um, something about medication, but uh, it is not a strictly psychiatric medication. It's something that is um, actually used to originally to treat uh, high blood pressure. And uh, these are beta blockers. Uh, beta blockers are a class of medication that uh, basically alleviate heart problems, such as tachycardia and uh, hypertension and uh, myocardial inf infarction uh, and um, arrhythmias in general. What they do, uh, interestingly, is that they block some receptors which are called beta adrenergic receptors they basically are stimulated by adrenaline and uh, when adrenaline binds to them uh, basically causes the heart to uh, beat faster and uh, harder uh, among other things uh, beta beta adrenergic receptors also are involved in um, the basically the response to anxiety so you know especially during performance anxiety or um, social anxiety uh, if someone can understand me um, they blush and uh, your heart races and uh, your hands shake and your bo your voice shakes and uh, you are basically panicking and you don't know what to do well partly this is due to a um, beta adrenergic uh, receptor activation so beta blockers uh, i started to take it because uh, i actually have um, something very benign in my heart which is uh, is called um, electric electrical axis deviation and that means that your electrical axis of your heart uh, is slightly deviated to, to my right and uh, this can cause some, um, some problems such as palpitations that means that you feel your heart beating and uh, your, your heart beats uh, quite fast this is called tachycardia so in order to treat this i am taking a very low dose of a beta blocker which is called propranolol or uh, inderal is its trade name uh, and actually since i'm taking this my residual anxiety especially during social situations uh, it's gotten a thousand times better uh, actually what beta blockers do is um, not to block your mental anxiety, your psychological anxiety, but they block your physical symptoms of anxiety. So you can feel anxious in your head, but you don't feel anxious in your body. So your heart beats normally, uh, you don't blush, um, your, uh, your hands don't shake, your voice do doesn't, doesn't shake, your, um, your uh, mouth doesn't get dry and um, if this cycle that psychological anxiety leads to um, to a physiological response in the body if this cycle is broken is broken uh, basically your mental anxiety doesn't produce a physi physiological response a physical response i mean sorry and you don't feel mentally anxious uh, i I don't know. I don't know if uh, I can uh, explain this. I, I don't know if I can explain it um, actually in a very good manner. But uh, I mean, in my case, if I feel mentally anxious and I have physical symptoms of anxiety, my mental anxiety gets worse, and this worsens physical symptoms of anxiety. So if you take a beta blocker, this cycle is broken and uh, you feel calmer that's basically what i wanted to say i hope it is clearer uh, i take 40 milligrams of uh, propranolol in the morning and uh, it
it lasts about 12 hours for me and I have some residual effects uh, throughout the day so my tachycardia is really much better and my blood pressure is also down uh, which is uh, actually a very good thing for me because uh, in my family um, there is hypertension and so it's very good for me um, and there are uh, some types of be beta blockers uh, actually Propranolol is a type of beta blocker which is called non-selective beta blocker. That means it blocks beta 1 and beta 2 receptors, the adrenergic receptors. Beta 1 receptors are um, mostly um, expressed in the heart and in the brain, while uh, beta 2 receptors are ex uh, expressed in the, um, in the bronchi and in the arteries. Um, so that means what, what beta-2 receptors do in the bronchi is when they are activated by adrenaline, um, they cause bronchodilation. That means it dilates your bronchi and makes you uh, breathe uh, basically in a, um, a with m more easy, easier. Uh, so uh, non-selective beta blockers are bad for asthmatic, uh, asthmatics. Uh, I don't have asthma, so uh, there is no um, no problem with it. And then they are beta one selective beta blockers. Uh, that means that they selectively uh, bind to beta one receptors, which are in the heart and in the brain and um, so they don't affect uh, bronchi or other um, other uh, organs and then they are lipophilic and uh, hydrophilic beta blockers uh, lipophilic beta blockers pass the blood brain bar barrier that means that they go in the brain and this can cause some side effects or um, effects uh, because I think that uh, lipophilic beta blockers also relieve some mental anxiety. Uh, propranolol and um, metoprolol or toprol are um, lipophilic beta blockers so they go in the brain uh, also um, in, in addition to uh, the periphery so the heart and the arteries and so on um, and uh, they can cause some side effects such as um, fatigue and uh, you know vivid dreams and in cases depression in some cases depression so that is actually not very good but uh, some studies um, basically say that um, the depression caused by beta blockers is a fake thing, thing. It doesn't, it doesn't actually exist. A non, a non lipophilic beta blockers or hydrophilic beta blockers are, uh, for example, atenolol, uh, which is called, I think, tenor, tenormin or tenormin. Uh, they block um, physical symptoms of anxiety, but not, um, not mental. Uh, symptoms of anxiety because they only work outside of the brain they can't pass the blood brain, brain barrier so they can't go in the brain uh, the side effects I I experience from this beta blocker are actually non-existent maybe a little bit of, um, of uh, fatigue but it is not so extreme however uh, when you take a beta blocker you need to go to a um, to a doctor because first they are prescription only and second because you have to uh, get an EKG first because if you if you have some problem in the heart such as heart block or um, or uh, some types of fibr fibrillation uh, they can actually worsen the condition and uh, you can have a life threatening reaction so always take beta blockers with the uh, with the advice of your doctor i don't know if 
this was very clear is actually kind of a kind of uh, difficult to explain the action of uh, beta blockers and uh, basically what they relieve because um, I used to think that they were useless because I used to think that if you don't relieve mental anxiety you actually still have anxiety but uh, relieving physical symptoms of anxiety be they I mean they can be you know a fast heartbeat or everything else that I mentioned before is actually a huge help in overcoming especially performance anxiety such as before a presentation and uh, as well as uh, social anxiety uh, and you know for me they are uh, life-saving because uh, since I am in medical school I had to present many things uh, such as some lectures and uh, so they really are uh, a life life-saving mess for me so if you have uh, any question or um, something that uh, you think I didn't uh, explain it clearly, you can write me a comment or uh, or um, or, a, or an inbox, and um, I will try to I will try to uh, sorry respond you as quick as possible. I'm sorry today I'm very very tired. It's a difficult period for me because I am really in a low, uh, low mood state. But uh, it's manageable. Uh, actually, luckily, it's manageable because of meds and therapy, and because of support of my friend and my family. So. Uh, well, I repeat, if you have anything that you want to say to me, just be free, feel free to write me a comment or an inbox. I hope you are well and uh, have, a nice have a nice day. Bye.